In today's video, I want to talk about the planning of our world trip, especially about vaccinations, because later today we have a doctor appointment. This is just too small. I want to use our stand for holding this. Just to make this video a little bit more interesting instead of just sitting somewhere or stand somewhere and talking to the camera. But this is just too small. Hangs a little bit too low. We need another solution. Ha! The USB cable! I just used the USB cable and it works perfectly. You can always find a solution for any problem you might have. Okay. Oh my god. There's no way you can read that. This is way too small. Okay, so now I can start with the video. Every trip is preceded by planning, especially when it comes down to traveling around the world. We have 16 items on our list and some of them we haven't checked off yet. I don't want to go into every single point in detail but rather give you a short brief overview of where we are at the moment and what we still have to do. So number one you have to make a decision where are we going on a world trip or not. I want to skip this one because it's obvious that we already made that decision. Number two you want to make sure to save money for your world trip. We already did that too so it completely depends where you want to travel how do you want to travel for how long do you want to travel but i could make an now video just for money and save money for the world trip number three terminate contracts number four and this is really one of the biggest steps you want to take you have to quit your job and this can get a little bit emotional maybe, but maybe you will also be quite happy to quit your job. We already did that. I am self-employed, Fabian did that. And that was the first big step we took in order to plan our world trip. Number five, terminate rental agreement. I got a little bit emotional when we did that. So we can already, we can also check this one. We did that. Number six, sell car. If you have one, we need to do that and we want to use our car until the last week we are here. So that's gonna be a tough one. We don't really know how we can do that. Maybe we'll be able to do that in December, but otherwise we have to make sure that Fabian's dad maybe 
sell the car for us when we already left, if we already left. Number seven, vaccination. And this is today's topic because we have today an appointment. Big, big topic, especially during COVID-19 pandemic worldwide, the outbreak of Corona. And I would say you don't need to be vaccinated for Corona or COVID, but it makes it a lot easier to travel the world, especially nowadays. And I want to deep dive into it a little bit more later. Number eight, passport and visa. Of course, you need a passport and this passport should be valid. Number nine, report to the job center. That's something Fabien has to do. I don't need it because I'm self-employed and I will be self-employed during our world trip as well because I plan to take my laptop and my camera equipment with me to maybe work a little bit besides. And Fabienne, yeah, she quit her job so she has to report to the job center that she is unemployed. You have to report to the job center three months in advance before you, before you get unemployed. So report to the job center, Fabienne already did that but you want to make sure if you live in Germany to do that. Number 10. Oh yeah, that's quite interesting. Maybe not for everyone, but it also depends where you're gonna travel. International driving license. It doesn't cost that much. We will do that or buy that. You just have to buy it. And um, that's something for some of the next videos. Number 11, quite simple, credit card. When you travel the world, it's much easier to travel by credit card. In some cases, it's just you're just able to pay by credit card and you do have, if you don't have one, you want to make sure to get one. Number 12, book flight, accommodation. Uh, yeah, we will do that quite spontaneously because it all depends on COVID because we don't know where we start yet. So all of this and all of the rest of our world trip will be complete spontaneous. Number 13, packing list. Of course, we didn't have packed yet. We have still enough time, but you want to make sure that you buy everything you need and yeah, you should do a list because if you forget something, packing list. Number 14, also nowadays quite important, health insurance. You need to make sure that your health insurance includes Corona because some countries, I don't know which countries, but some countries just allow you to get into the country when you have a health insurance, which, is also, which also covers Corona. Number 15, liability insurance, also quite important. Number 16, the last one, deregistration from home, from Germany. And that's all what we have to do, maybe already did. I was supposed to pick up Fabienne six minutes ago and late. I'm really late now. We have the appointment in 20 minutes and this construction word ahead of me is ruining my whole schedule. So Fabienne walked there, she's already there and I'm there in one minute. Need to find a parking slot now, which isn't that easy. Das Risiko daran 
irgendwann zu sterben, ist relativ hoch, die Wahrscheinlichkeit, infiziert zu werden, relativ gering. Genau, das ist, glaube ich, auch mit einer der teuersten Impfungen. Ja, genau. sein. Mhm. Ja. Also da ist die Frage, hm, gehe ich das niedrige Risiko ein, dass ich überhaupt gestochen werde? Weil wenn ich gestochen werde, dann kann ich sehr schnell tot sein. Schafft man das in den drei Monaten jetzt noch an Impfung? Okay. Ja, genau. Okay. Ja. Super. Alles klar. Danke. Ciao. We are stuck in traffic. What? Why are you laughing? Oh. Ich gehe an. Ah! Hurry up. So we were now at the doctor for a total of one and a half hours. He recommended all vaccination that we could consider and set up a vaccination strategy for the next weeks. We now have almost three months to get all vaccinations and we shouldn't have started later to get vaccinated. We have already tomorrow our first appointment for, don't ask, the tetanus vaccination. The tetanus vaccination is something of standard and for me it expired already three years ago. Fabien's tetanus vaccination expired already 12 years ago. Yes, no joke. <laughs> so that's also the reason why we get vaccinated for tetanus already tomorrow. So tomorrow I will make a proper list about all the vaccinations we will get in the next weeks and COVID-19 is on the list as well. That's it for today. I'm a little bit scared for tomorrow, to be honest. I hate syringes. I can feel already the pain right now. So we were now at the doctor for a total of one and a half hours and he was super nice.